Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're back with our series of videos on the 11 MK2 plugin from Abbott's Pro Tools. So on the previous tutorial, we talked about a little overview of the plugin, and now we're gonna dive deep into each of the modules. So on today's video, we're gonna talk about the amplifier module uh, from 11 MK2. So uh, once you open 11 MK2, as I said before, uh, it'll load a default amp. Uh, it's just the way it works. It'll load something so that as soon as you press play, you get some kind of sound, okay? Different than the than the I. Now, um, the module, the M module, is basically located here. Now, before the actual amp, you have an input knob that you can control. So if we do something like this, I'm gonna go ahead and press play and then I'll I'll play with this knob. <laughs> So you're basically driving the input to the amp with this little knob, okay? You also have a gate that you can use. Uh, there's a threshold and release there. Um, so you can gate what you're playing. Now, after that, you have the actual amp module, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is select your amp. So if you basically, where it says amp type, you're gonna see below it says DC, modern, OD, um, for overdrive, I guess. If you simply click on that, you can see a list of different amps, okay? So if you basically click on whatever you want, you're gonna see the amp changing, okay? Now, think about the names, okay? If you see, for example, and once again, they're not gonna tell you the actual name of the amp that they're emulating, but if you simply click on the amp name, and you see the actual face, you kind of have an idea of what kind of amp you're getting. You know, plexiglass, okay? The name kind of sounds like the original plexi amp, if that makes sense. You know, you got Tweet Lux, for example. This kind of looks like a very famous amp that actually uses the word Tweet on its name, okay? So you get an idea of what you have. Um, now, Amps vary; they're different. Okay, so for example, if you have this black panel duo, you're gonna you might see things in the amp, and when I say thing, I mean like parameters that probably do not show up in, let's say, the lead 800, for example. But in general, in general, if you go, for example, to and I'm gonna use the uh, the one we had before, which was uh, no, not the black panel. Where are you? The da, 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 tread modern vintage black panel lux normal vibrato okay there you go so for example in this one uh you have a, a volume knob that you know it's basically your input to the amp so if it's all the way down like now you can't hear it or you barely hear it but if you go up kind of gets dirty because even though it says volume in the case of this amp this works more as the gain input you also have a in this case a two band equalizer so treble and bass so treble works with your well i guess it'll modify your high frequencies and then your bass will modify your low frequencies so you can always boost that so for example it's brighter and then it gets darker because I'm pulling the treble down. Same for the bass. If I boost the bass, if I boost the bass, it gets super like deep, you know? But if I pull it down, if I pull it down, it gets thin. Now you also have, in the case of this one, you have speed and intensity. Because this this guy has a vibrato. You can see it says 64 lux vibrato. So uh, you can control your vibrato intensity and then the speed of that. Can feel it there. Now you also have a bypass switch. If you bypass it, you basically you're basically bypassing the amp, so you're going straight from the DI to the cab. Now this is a very standard configuration. You'll have some kind of gain knob, you know, equalizer, and then maybe vibrato. But if you go to let's say the 
black panel duo this guy has a little more things for example it has a mid control so mid frequency control it's not just treble and bass you have the same tweet uh, speed and intensity but you also have this bright knob which basically switches um the amp to a brighter input or a brighter a brighter approach if that makes sense so if you're playing and then you go bright it's a little brighter okay um now these are th these two amps that i show you these are kind of cleaner amps you can also go into the distorted side of things and select for example elite 800 oh you see it was bypassed now it's on so you can play with a preamp gain and actually get it um, to the amount of distortion or gain that you're looking for, okay? Uh, now, in the case of this guy, for example, you have a gain input, which is set as, or label as preamp. You have a master, which is the output, and then you have a four-band EQ. So, bass, middle, treble, but also presence, okay? That's different. Um, that's actually higher than treble. <laughs> So you can get your tone there. So now another thing that you have here, um, you have all these guitar amps, but if you go one by one, you can see that there are a couple that says, for example, this one says DC bass. So this is supposed to be emulating a bass amp. So if you have a bass DI, you might want to use that guy. You also have this one here that says 59 tweed bass. Once again, this is supposed to be emulating a bass amp. I'm not saying that you cannot use a guitar DI on that one. You can, but once again, it's trying to emulate a bass amplifier. Um, you, you'll you see things like, for example, this one, uh, 64 black vibe, and then black SR, and then black mini. So same amp, three different models, okay? And you're gonna see, or you're gonna hear, um, obvious like tone differences okay same thing with this one for example you got the plexiglass 67 60 and 69 so these are supposed to be three different years that they made that amp and they should sound different because they're internally they're a little different um same thing here uh sl 189 you can see there's a drive option a crunch option in a clean option. So basically, um, I'm pretty sure that this was originally an amp that had three uh, inputs or three different channels. And it's basically emulating the drive channel, the crunch channel, and the clean channel. So that's the amp module um, from 11MK2. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Stay tuned because we're going to keep talking about the next modules on the following tutorials. If you have any other questions, please call us from OBD and PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.